Welcome to Wines Du Jour. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada, doing our weekly broadcast from a new restaurant in town called Cafe Laredo. It is a killer. It's a modern Mexican cuisine, and the food is very good. And we're going to pair with that wines from Washington State. In fact, the winemaker has flown down to be on the show, so you're going to have an opportunity to meet, listen to some of the things that he has to tell you about Washington State, which is the second largest of producing for wine in all of the United States. So stay tuned, we'll be back right after these messages. Thanks for joining us on Wines to Shore. We're broadcasting tonight from the very beautiful Cantina Laredo in Tivoli Village in Las Vegas, Nevada, where you should be. Welcome to America's number one syndicated radio high definition television wine show, where we bring you great information about good wines and great food every week for you to enjoy. We have the winemaker from this beautiful winery, which is Alexander and Nicole Sellers in Prosser, Washington, or uh, their neighbor that you might know of, the neighbor city called Walla 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 Walla, Washington, and that's where they're from. So uh, we have Jared Boyle here with this evening. He's the winemaker, owner of the winery, and uh, he's got a lot of good, not only nice wines, but good information for everybody to enjoy. You know, each broadcast we try to remember one thing that's very, very important, and that is wine is food. A meal is a meal, but with a glass of wine, it's a celebration. From casual gatherings to formal affairs, wine celebrates any event. So sit back and relax and enjoy the next 60 minutes while we talk about food, Mexican type, modern Mexican that is, and wines from the state of Washington. Wines is sure is distributed in all 50 states and around the world via radio, CRN Digital Talk Radio Network, High Definition V Asian TV, Satellite Audio, Global American Broadcast Network, and on six internet systems all around the globe. And it's available on podcasts, on iTunes, Striker Radio, and it's all live right here on radio. I'm your host, Les Kincaid, so don't touch that radio dial or that TV remote. We'll be back with good fun, information, great taste right here at Cantina Laredo in Tivoli Village, Las Vegas, Nevada. But first, I want to introduce you to my guest this evening. His name is Jared Boyle. He's the winemaker of Nicole of and Alexandria Nicole Sellers uh, in Washington. And I want to thank you very much for sharing your wines with us this evening and coming all the way down here to double your money and uh, to be with us this evening. Jared? I hope I do get a double the money. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. You all. bet. I'm very excited to be here. Tell me a little bit about uh, how you got into the wine business. Uh, you know, Eastern Washington is a big agricultural you know, area in itself, and I'd grown up in the agriculture working in that. And then actually when I came back from college, the, uh, I worked for Hoke Sellers. I had an opportunity to work for Hoke Sellers for a little while as a viticulturalist, and so uh, I took some short courses and learned a little bit about that part of it, and uh, was really intrigued and excited, and, and uh, started with that in 96, I believe, and then uh, continued with that for a couple of years and had an opportunity to uh, to buy a, to get involved in a vineyard part. Well, you happen to be a pretty laid-back guy, I have to say, uh, which is not a bad, it's not anything negative, but what that means is you're not anxious uh, and overly quick to make decisions on certain things. So I've watched you work a little bit uh, while we were up in Washington back in September, and, and you, you have a lot of detail that you pay attention to, but at the same time, you're not uh, on top of everybody trying to make sure everybody does exactly the right thing at the right time. But you end with product that is absolutely outstanding. 
Now, you don't do the typical. You know, the typical winery, when they start, they'll do three wines, as an yeah. example. That would be Chardonnay, uh, Merlot, and Cabernet Sauvignon. That's not the way you work. You decided, when you've located 200 and plus acres of land in what uh, is known uh, as a special uh, area, which we'll talk about when we get into the program, uh, that you picked up 200 and some acres, planted some gr uh, grapes or the vines that you thought would be w the best for that terroir, turns out you were spot on. Does that make you feel good? Yeah, it's, uh, we, uh, we're pretty fortunate to be in the location we are, you know, with eastern Washington, just the climactic conditions down there are just phenomenal for growing grapes. And, you know, being, having the asset of working for Hogue as a bit of culture, so I was able to go throughout a lot of uh, Washington State, actually in some Oregon, as well in some Idaho. We've got to go to a break. Sorry to okay. cut you off. We'll be back right after these <laughs> okay. Switch to DirecTV today and get a free upgrade to the all-new Genie, our most advanced HD DVR ever. Genie serves your entire home with just one receiver, allows you to record any five shows at once, and gives you up to three times more HD recording capacity than cable. Order now and lock in your savings for two years. Other packages start at just $29.99 a month. So get all your TV wishes granted. Switch to DirecTV and get your free upgrade to Genie today. Welcome back to Wines Du Jour. We're having a great time this evening and we just started our program a few moments ago at the Cantina Laredo Modern Mexican Restaurant in Tivoli Gardens, which is a new uh, shopping area, if you will, in northwest part of Las Vegas, known as Summerlin. Our first wine tonight, let's talk a little bit about that. This is what he calls Shepherd's Mark. That's the white wine that everybody here in our audience is, is tasting. Tell us a little bit about Shepherd's Mark and how it got its name and so on, would you? Yeah, uh, just to speak briefly on what you, you know, Eastern Washington, we get six inches of rain a year in Eastern Washington and Seattle area. The Western Washington is like 48 inches, so you're right, it is a desert where we're at. A lot different, yeah. And, um, and for the wine that we're tasting here, it's a Rhone white blend of Roussan, Marsan, Viognier. It's 65% Roussan, 25% Marsan, and 15% Viognier, which changes every year. You know, with just with the blending process, but it's uh, I really enjoy it. The she the name Shepherd's Mark. When we broke out the vineyard, my wife and I in '98, uh, they had these monuments, is what they were. The the old sheep herders would would stack these rocks on top of each other as you know as uh, look territory, you know, yeah, territory yeah. location marks or whatever, just yeah. out of boredom, whatever. Right. And so what we did is we called it. We left those there and we called it Shepherd's Mark. That's how we kind of. That's, that's that cool. Name. But, um, that's interesting to know. Yeah, but it's a great. I love the Rhone White varietals. They're 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 wonderful. They're they're really different because like a Viognier is really aromatic, where your Marsan doesn't have a lot of aromatics. It's got a little bit more richness and mouthfeel to it. And your Rhone is aromatic, but out in the vineyard, uh, it doesn't give you anything, any indicators on when to pick it based on flavors or or the aromatics, just because it just it doesn't. It's really challenging to. It's a challenging grape to grow in itself. Um, and then when you bring it into the vineyard, or excuse me, into the winery and start it through fermentation, it just opens up and really well, expresses you, itself. So. This wine has got pineapple and fig and uh, peach and lemon all in it. I mean, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's not the typical, you know, Sauvignon Blanc with grapefruit and so on. And it's not the typical Cabernet, I'm sorry, uh, Chardonnay at all. Uh, it has its own taste and flavor, which means it goes with different foods than you might be accustomed to serving with wine. <coughs> and that's the reason that we're here. And tonight, we're, t we're actually pairing, uh, the chef and I put together uh, what we call ceviche. Uh, ceviche is what we're going to serve uh, with this Shepherd's Mark. And I'm telling you, uh, have you guys had a chance to taste the both? Isn't that a great? Yeah, it's a great combination. But ceviche is food that's been cooked, I should say meat. In most cases, we're talking shrimp or scallops. But uh, shrimp, in particular, that has lemon juice and lime juice that it macerates in. And the acidity in the lemon and the lime juice actually cooks the shrimp. You don't actually put it on heat at all. Boy, I'll tell you, the taste is wonderful. If you have a chance to come to uh, Cantina Laredo uh, and try it, I'd like to see you do that. Ceviche is something that's important. 
Have you had a chance to taste the two yet? I just did. It's Not wonderful. You. Is it good? Okay. Yeah. Well, we've got to go to a break. When we come back, we're going to continue talking a little bit about Shepherd's Mark. <coughs> That's the white roan style, and it retails, for those of you that are interested, about $20 a bottle. So we'll be back coast to coast and around the world on the Internet right here at Cantina Laredo. Be right back. Switch to DirecTV today and get a free upgrade to the all-new Genie, our most advanced HD DVR ever. Genie serves your entire home with just one receiver, allows you to record any five shows at once, and gives you up to three times more HD recording capacity than cable. Order now and lock in your savings for two years. Other packages start at just $29.99 a month. So get all your TV wishes granted. Switch to DirecTV and get your free upgrade to Genie today. Welcome back to Wines Is Your. We're having a good time here, and we're at the Cantina Laredo. That is in Tivoli Village in Las Vegas. And this is a modern Mexican restaurant. And let me tell you, it sounds like you're just making up words when you say modern Mexican. I mean, Mexico is considered to be old Mexico. And unfortunately, their food sometimes is old as well. <laughs> and so this group of people in Texas have gotten together and taken the quality of the food uh, that they think is uh, going to be popular in a restaurant and upgraded it. Or as uh, uh, our friend the BAM man might say, uh, up a notch, you know? So, and that's a good thing. Uh, our wine number two is, uh, first of all, about $25, which is a heck of a good price when you find out a little bit more about it. It's from one of my favorite varietals that you may or may not know about called Syrah. Um, and it has very little alcohol by comparison to many other Syrahs of about 14.3%. So that's very good. It's tasty. <coughs> and this has a beautiful nose on it. And I have to tell you, the food that we're going to serve with it is simple, but I think you're going to find very, very good. Everybody's familiar with flatbread. You know, we know tacos and tortillas and that sort of thing in Mexican food, but flatbread is also something that they use in, uh, in Mexico. And so we've taken a little flatbread and put some things on it. We'll talk about that uh, in, a, in a few minutes. But let's talk a little bit more about this Syrah. This particular Syrah, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Chair, but I think this is what you would call a medium-bodied Syrah. It's not, uh, it's not heavy duty and knock you down or any of that sort of thing. It's something you could really put with food and make it taste very, very good. Yeah, I think it's a good food wine, and that's, you know, a lot of th that's what we're trying to do is to... You know, that's part of your, your idea when you're making the wine is that it's going to go good with food as opposed to just sit and yeah, drink. Yeah, you know, I like my food, so yeah, it's very there you important go. for me to... It uh, makes a lot of difference. Sure well, so. No doubt about that. Well, this is Ink Jet Black. Uh, and in fact, that's what it's called, Jet Black Syrah. That's what the label says. And let me tell you, it's a beauty. Right here it is. About 14.3%. I said that a few minutes ago, uh, which means it's not high in alcohol. It has a great taste. It uh, has kind of a smokiness to it, uh, I think. Uh, and uh, I like the, the blackberry and the blueberry and all the fruit forward, as we call the black fruit. Uh, in the forward part of it. <coughs> this also has a little bit of cedar, which I think is a good thing in terms of making it good for food. Uh, a, a little bit of cedar and coffee, if you will. But the important part is it has some vanilla flavor to it. And if you've been coming to the show or listening to us on Wines Du Jour over the year, you know that the vanilla comes only from the oak barrels that it was aged in. So what we have here tonight, though, is Jet Black Syrah coming to us from Alexandria Nicole Sellers in Washington State in Prosser to be more uh, specific. Frankly, they don't make thousands of cases. They make hundreds of cases. And what that means for you and me is it's kind of delicate to find it. So once you write down what we're about to tell you, I want to make sure you don't lose that uh, and put it on your bookmark it when you get it on, on your website so that you can order these wines and they'll come to you uh, in a reasonable amount of time from Washington State to wherever you live. Tell us a little bit about the website and how, I know you have a wine uh, club, but I also know that the wine club is so popular, it's been limited. Tell us a little bit about how you can get on it, uh, or at least on the wait list. 
Yeah, it's we've been really fortunate to have a, a phenomenal uh, wine club. Uh, we actually closed the wine club at 2,000 members, and that's generally that was just because of you know the amount of pro- you know product that we make. Well, the vineyard again earlier you mentioned we are 262 acres, so that the vineyard will produce up to 75,000 cases of wine. We sell all but 80. We sell 84 percent of the uh, of the fruit that comes off that vineyard to other wineries, even some winery. Uh, actually back east and then in oregon and stuff like that so we use you know we use a limited amount of that fruit for ourselves, and uh and so we don't produce a whole large amount actually this year was the largest amount that we uh produced and we went up to around a little over ten thousand cases of wine for ourselves. but just with the wine club itself they eat up almost 60 percent of that of that volume themselves and so we do have a uh it's popular is what he's yeah, telling you folks he's being very yeah. very nice we have um, two different locations in Washington State for uh, wine tasting rooms, and then we have our website, of course. My wife uh, handles all that. She's actually the brains and the beauty of the outfit, so we're uh, pretty fortunate to have her on board here. So, But we, um, the wine club is a great way to, if you're interested in buying the wines, and the wine club, we have a, uh, a waiting list, and it's, you can sign up on that as well. Now, if you just wanted to buy uh, six bottles of wine that we have here tonight, two bottles of each, can they go online and order it? Do they have to belong to the wine club in order to do it? No, these wines here are, are available to the public, um, and you can go online and buy that. And what we're, right, right, we're looking for a distributor down here in, in Las Vegas and in California right now. So oh, okay. we're just increasing our volume right now to, to get to a point to where we can have a little bit more distribution and stuff. So That sounds good. Well, I can tell you that uh, the mokiness, the black cherry, the fruit, um, all of that type is all together in this Syrah. Now, if you took this same varietal, the Syrah varietal, and you went down to uh, Australia with it uh, and planted it, you could grow it. And in fact, in Australia, Syrah is the most popular wine in Australia. They don't call it Syrah, however. They just have their own little lingo, you know, the, the Australians do. Uh, and they call it Shiraz. Uh, but it means Syrah, and it is the very same uh, varietal that you find in France or uh, here in America. And this is the one that Jet Black comes from. And Jet Black is a unique, I think, beautiful color. <coughs> it is exactly what he calls it, Jet Black. Uh, most red wines are not necessarily that dark. This one's got beautiful color to it. It goes really well with food. Uh, I love this particular wine with lamb. That's one of my favorite things. Uh, also, it goes good with game. You know, pheasant, quail, duck, dove, all those types of, of game. This would be a perfect match uh, with that. And maybe the most of all common thing to have this beautiful Syrah with would be barbecue. You know, a barbecue uh, is something that this Syrah has got to love. The sauces in barbecue, no matter whether you're from uh, Memphis or Kentucky or whether you're from Texas or California, barbecue sauces are all made a little bit different. But the acidity, that would be normally uh, the vinegar uh, in that sauce, and this actually go pretty well together. And I have to tell you, vinegar and wine generally don't match at all. That's why we have a hard time typically with salads. It's the dressing in the salads, the acidity, the vinegar that's in that dressing that just kind of kicks butt when it comes to trying to match a wine with it. So here we have something that's exceptionally good. So we'll be back coast to coast and around the world on the internet right here at Cantina Laredo. Be right back. Switch to DirecTV today and get a free upgrade to the all-new Genie, our most advanced HD DVR ever. Genie serves your entire home with just one receiver, allows you to record any five shows at once, and gives you up to three times more HD recording capacity than cable. Order now and lock in your savings for two years. Other packages start at just $29.99 a month. So get all your TV wishes granted. Switch to DirecTV and get your free upgrade to Genie today. 2009 Cabernet Sauvignon from Alexander and Nicole Sellers in Washington State is absolutely wonderful. <coughs> now, the food that we've been eating, and let me talk just real briefly about what we have here uh, as the third 
food pairing to go with the Cabernet Sauvignon is uh, something that's very simple, but uh, it goes well with Cabernet Sauvignon. You know, Cabernet Sauvignon is the most uh, loved red wine literally from around the world. It's most popular in France, therefore they kind of get credit for Cabernet Sauvignon. But when you go to Washington State where uh, the terroir is outstanding and you know it and you get a nice varietal uh, to put in there of Cabernet Sauvignon, you end up with a pretty good product. Well, what goes better with wine than food? Uh, and what goes better with food here at the uh, uh, Cantina Laredo is the executive chef, Damon Workman. He came out of the kitchen. He's going to spend a couple minutes with us. Thank you very Hi, much everyone. for sharing your food with us tonight, Damon. How are you all? Tell me a little bit about how long you've been cooking. Oh, man. I started cooking with my parents, uh, who are both outstanding cooks, back when I was a little kid, probably six maybe seven that a boy i like to hear that that's <laughs> yeah, good you know but that means that you've got a passion for it because anybody that cooks when you're six or seven years old and finally mom doesn't force you to come in the kitchen and turn the pancakes or whatever the case may be you quit doing it you don't have the passion but you start at five or six or four or five or six years old uh, helping mom and you get a little bit older the next thing you know you're cooking the food and mom is telling you uh, do this or do that. That's the way I learned. I was 12 uh, and, and it's the same kind of a thing. I, I happened to move into uh, my father's uh, home in uh, Fresno, California uh, when I was 12 years old and my uh, step-grandfather had just retired as an executive chef and that's how I got into the business. But you ended up now, you're with a, a beautiful company. Uh, you're here in Las Vegas. Do you, do you live in Las Vegas or you came I here? I do. We, uh, my girlfriend and I both moved here and we're very happy. We love the city so far. Isn't it great? Yes, very it's a much very so. Nice. And, and you have to love the restaurant. I, don't, I haven't been in the kitchen, but I can tell you that looking at the front end, the kitchen's probably pretty good, too. They did a beautiful job with our entire building. Yeah, that's really good. Well, uh, Dallas, Texas is not a bad place to be from, and so <laughs> that's where the headquarters is uh, for uh, the Cantina Laredo. And uh, I have to tell you, your pairings are really good. Tell us a little bit about this third pairing that you've put together to go with this Cabernet. Uh, the last pairing, like you said, nothing goes better with a, a Cabernet than a good steak, and, and we happen to have a, a good a good ribeye, so... Yeah, there you go. <coughs> Pretty simple stuff, but very, very tasty. Now, <coughs> I, know, I know that you've been here for just a few months. Uh, you're liking Las Vegas. Um, what do you think is going to happen here? You think you're going to be changing menus a couple, three times a year, or do you have to wait for corporate to tell you what to do? Typically, uh, corporate determines the full-scale menu changes. Um, <clears throat> we have been allowed a little latitude as far as some specials that we get to run, some things that we get to do on the side, uh -huh. some other fun stuff for the guys to you know play around with in the back. Very good. So. Uh, Jared Boyle is the winemaker for the wines that we had tonight, and uh, I have to tell you that Damon Workman is the executive chef, and I'm just here to talk a little bit about what they've done. This is a beautiful thing. I hope you've enjoyed it. Now, I have to tell you that we got about a minute to go. Yeah, so I'm going to have to thank you very much for listening to Wines Is Your, America's number one wine radio show. We're here each week at this very same time, and if you've enjoyed tonight's program, tell everyone you know. Want to know more about my favorite subjects? Log on to my website, leskincade.com. Find out all about it. Uh, or you can go to Facebook or Twitter, uh, Les Kincaid. I want to thank uh, everybody from Cantina Laredo for their help tonight. My broadcast engineer, Jeremy Knight. V Asian TV for their beautiful high definition for making television happen. Uh, for Cox Cable, Direct TV. I want to thank also Colin Murphy for coming all the way from California uh, from Direct TV to see what we're doing here. Uh, he's the sales manager for Direct TV, and uh, from the left coast, from the east coast, and from all around the world on the radio, I'm Les Kincaid. Good night, everybody.
watching Wines Du Jour. We're having a great time this evening, and I hope you enjoyed watching the show. Coming to you from the Tivoli Gardens area in the uh, actual northwest part of Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, Cafe Laredo is excellent food, and we had wonderful wines, as you know, from the state of Washington. Walla 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 is what we call it, but it's right next door to Walla Walla. It's actually Presser, Cali uh, Presser Washington. I'll get it straight. I want to thank you again for watching, and we'll be back next time, right after these messages.